Good day, this is Jessica Steele, BSIT3A. And today's video, I'm going to do the activity 10.2.3, connecting devices with different media types. Test 1. Examine the configuration of the routers. Step 1. View the router configuration. Click on both routers and examine the configuration using the config tab. Step 2. Note the active ports. Routers have many interfaces and not all may be in use. Look at the configuration on all of the router interfaces. For each router, note which interfaces have the port status on have IP information configured and for serial interfaces which interface have the clock speed set so first I'm going to click the router router 1 so in router 1 the pass ethernet 00, 00 already configured while in pass ethernet 0 1 is empty and in serial 00, zero it's already configured and the clock rate is already set <coughs> while in serial zero 01 is empty next is to click the router 2 in router 2 the path ethernet 00, zero is already configured while in pass ethernet 01 is empty and in serial 00, zero in serial 00, zero the clock rate is not set but the port status is on and there's already have an IP address and subnet mask while in ze serial 01 it's not configured Next, task to connect the devices. Step 1, use the proper media type between devices. Switches. Switches and hubs provide a crossover function on their ports to connect a PC or a router to a switch using a copper straight through cable. So first is to use a copper straight through cable to connect interface pass Ethernet 00 on router 1 to inter router 1 to interface pass Ethernet 01 on the switch. So first I'm going to I'm going to use the copper strip. Pass Ethernet 00. And pass Ethernet 01. Next. Connect interface pass Ethernet on PC1 to interface pass Ethernet 02 on the switch. I'm still going to use the copper straight. Pass Ethernet 02. Next is A PC can be directly connected to a router using a copper crossover cable. <coughs> Use a copper crossover cable to connect interface pass Ethernet 00 on router 2 to interface pass Ethernet on PC2. So this time I'm gonna use the copper crossover. Then click on router 2. Then
Next is connect the RS232 port on PC1 to the console port on router 1. So this time I'm gonna use the console and connect it to router 1. Then Connect the RS232 port on PC2 to the console port on router 2 using a console cable. So next... Next is select the serial DCA cable. The first device you click will click will connect to the DCA end of the cable. Connect interface serial 00 on router 1 to interface serial 00 on router 2. So I'm going to use the serial DCA. Then serial 00. So the completion rate is already 100%. So next is step to verify connectivity. In the command prompt of the desktop of PC1 is you the command ping 192.168.3.2, the IP address of PC2. If the ping fails, check check your connection and troubleshoot until the ping success check your configuration by checking by clicking the check results button so i'm i'm going to click the pc one this stop and come on from and ping 192.168 so it succeeded. That's it. At the end of this, next is to click the check result. At the end of this task, your completion rate should be 100%, and it's already 100%. So that's all. The activity is completed.